This is Spamasubi, our microvan. She's a 1996 Daihatsu Atri. We imported her from Japan because microvans are the move. She fits anywhere. She can't go up hills. Great gas mileage. Great gas mileage. She moves in the wind. She... Slowly. <laughs> Slowly moves in the wind. And she's perfect. But she's perfect and we love her. And we've had her for a year. And what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna build her out. Okay, so what's the vision here, Alex? So we only have one door on this side. And so this side is just gonna be a little bench and then it's gonna pull out to a bed. And I'm kind of tall, so it's not gonna be a very tall bench, but it's gonna be more comfortable than sitting like this. So we're gonna do a bench the entire side of this, yeah, like this? Yeah, this whole side's gonna be a bench. It's gonna pull out into a whole bed that we can sleep on with Riley. Okay, and how are we gonna build it? We're gonna try to use reclaimed materials as much as possible. We're going to reuse Hawaii right now to go check out their lumber supply. And yeah, we're trying to make it as sustainable as possible. This is our schematic and this is the plan. Let's do it. It's gonna go right there. Okay, so we're in Spam City right now. Here so we are. what a, <laughs> what a lot of people don't realize is that home renovations and like wood and a lot of things that are used to make things more aesthetic are oftentimes made of plastic. They're usually virgin yeah. material and they just contribute to the waste cycle and it just completely increases the demand for new things to be made. So Reuse Hawaii is super cool because they um, use reclaimed wood. They will take like demolition projects or estate sales and take all the things and then resell them. So it's cool because it's not like it's not like a thrift shop. It's like a it's like a lumber yard thrift shop. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. And we're gonna take you with us. So let's go. Check it out. Brought my own tape measure. <laughs> This place is so cool. They even have a tool library for people to come and make things. You honestly just might not know if you have something like this in your community. Like this is a very specific to Oahu town side to have reuse Hawaii, but like we would have honestly just gone to Home Depot and gotten brand new wood and paid like five times the price of it. But and instead, it's like less quality wood. What, the Home Depot is? Yeah, this is all old growth, slow growing. This is good, good wood. Stuff. Be resourceful and also get you an Alex because I would not be doing this without him. Got our lumber in the back. Good to go. All right, we just got back to the house and now it's time to start building. So here we have all our lumber next to the boat. I got my little cutting station over here and we're gonna start trimming some wood down. Look at that grain. That's beautiful. Alright, we got everything cut out and sanded, and now it's time to start putting it together. At least the frame. Not the whole thing, just the frame. Alright, we just finished day one, and this is what we got. So we got our frame going on, and it doesn't look like much, but from that reclaimed wood, I think it's something. So we are getting underway. Things are being built. Now it's painting time. So I just stained the bottom of the base floor, the floorboard, and now we're gonna paint everything that's supposed to be white. So let's give it a go. So I just got the floors in pretty close to being ready and I just pulled the bed in to see if how the test fit would fit 
and everything looks pretty close to how they designed it, which is super cool. Okay, we're just leaving Reuse Hawaii again, but this time it's because we're renting tools. And there's no point in buying tools uh, if you don't have to. I rented two tools, I'm gonna rent one more um, next week for a week. Um, and for the whole month, it was like $40, which isn't bad at all. And yeah, now we're going back home and continuing the van build. And I may have bought some other wood for another project. We'll circle back to that later. So this is the van, what the van looks like so far. And basically, we just need to put the slats on. So now we're going to ruin our neighbor's lives and their ears by running the saw and cutting some slats down for this part. And also, Riley wants to come in. Come on, hop in. Hop in. You got this. Yeah. Good job, Ry. We found it was made of 100% recycled polyester. Isn't that crazy? A target. I can't believe it, and it's water resistant. Perfect for surfing. Let's do it. So today we are gonna be making our cushion bed thing situation. So basically we have these three cushions and I'm gonna sew them all together to make one giant cushion. It's perfect for the couch to bed. And what's cool is they're made out of 100% recycled polyester. All right, here's a little preview of what it's gonna look like, essentially. Those cushions can fold down, slide out into a bed. And, nice little chill spot. Check this out. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the slats for the bench. And so if we have a couple options. We have the white, which is exterior paint that I found in our garage ports. Don't know what it's from, but that's what I've been using. I have this stain, which is from an old project where I stained the picnic benches. And then I have this, which is a one coat stain and sealer. And I have no idea where this came from. So we're gonna check out the different colors and see what we wanna do. 